So if we we'll go back, it's your tech dude here again. In araw, I'll be showing you how can we set up this TP-Link Tapo C310 and connect it wirelessly via our smartphone. Before we start, just a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you can buy licensed keys. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the Buy Now button. I know their licensed keys are already cheap, but you want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20, which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. Alright, going back, let's now go ahead and set this one up onto our smartphone. Alright, set up na natin itong Tapo C310 natin. All we need is, of course, the C310 Wi-Fi camera natin. And next, the power adapter included dun sa box nya. And of course, our smartphone. You can have either an Android or an iPhone. It doesn't matter kasi the app that we're gonna be using is both available naman on Android and on iOS. Next, we're gonna be needing some screwdriver later on. I have here a multi-screwdriver right here. You can also use an ordinary one, so it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the setup. First, buksan muna natin itong smartphone natin. And pupunta tayo sa Google Play Store. Isa search natin yung Tapo app. So magikita natin dito yung TP Link Tapo. Hopefully you could see it right here. Currently na install ko na siya since I already installed this on the previous video. All you have to do is go ahead and install this app, and we're just gonna be opening this one. And I'm gonna be accepting the terms and agreement. Uh, never mind muna yung feedback feedback so by default wala pa kayo di pa kayo makakalagin dito but I currently have an account already so all you have to do is sign up on the Tapo app you can register via your email and then go ahead and proceed with the login and as you can see meron ako isang camera na setup dito which is the Tapo C200 and ngayon is setup na ng Tapo C310 similar dun sa Tapo C200 all we need to do is first um, after installing the app, tanggalin sa tali itong power adapter and uh, we're gonna be plugging this one on to my power outlet. So I have already plugged this one on my extension wire. So this currently have a power. So all we have to do is plug this on the power adapter or the power cable on our Wi-Fi camera. And you will notice na mag start na mag light up yung camera natin just gonna be waiting for this to hopefully may stable sya I believe there's a hole right here yan so let me place it like that so you could see the in light indicator so yan you can see that the LED indicator of our wireless camera or the Tapo C310 camera is currently um, starting to light up so pupunta tayo ba pabalik dito sa app and we're gonna be clicking this plus button on the top right portion of the screen and we're gonna be selecting Tapo C310 right here there's two modes or rather the two ways in order for us to connect the wireless camera or the Tapo C310 onto the app so it can be either the wired feature using this ethernet cable if you have any but in this video we are gonna be uh, connecting it via uh, wireless or via Wi-Fi it's more convenient and uh, fairly easy to install especially for end users so we're gonna be selecting this wireless right here and then click on the next button and as you would have noticed na merong prompt dito na dapat hantayin daw nating nagbublink ng ganyan yung LED indicator in our case nagbublink na siya so we're just going to be clicking on the next button right here we also need to turn on our GPS, so we're just going to be enabling this one. And we're just going to connect the Tapo Cam Tapo Cam Wi-Fi and it will start to connect on that one. Next, we're going to be selecting yung Wi-Fi network na gusto natin connect yung uh, wireless camera natin or yung uh, Wi-Fi camera natin, which is I'm gonna be connecting it on our wi main Wi-Fi connection And we're just gonna wait for this to finish 
it will start to connect onto our Wi-Fi network. Kung narinig nyo, it said connecting to Wi-Fi. So, we're just gonna wait for a few seconds or minutes. And hopefully, you were able to hear that that said uh, Wi-Fi connected. Just gonna wait for the app to finish. And there you go. Uh, again, shows us a prompt na mag-connect daw tayo dun sa Wi-Fi kung saan tayo nakakonect or rather saan nakakonect yung tapo camera natin. So currently, nasa main Wi-Fi connection ako. So after you were able to switch on that network, you could go ahead and click on the I'm already connected. And hit the continue button. And we'll now be asked to name our Wi-Fi camera. So since this is an outdoor camera, I'm just gonna be naming it Tapo Outdoor Camera. And I'm gonna be hitting the next button right here. And we could choose kung saan yung uh, set location natin siya. So for my case, it's set as outdoor. It's uh, configured and complete. So it sounds good. And we can now go ahead and insert our SD card. So to insert the SD card, we're gonna be hitting this got it. Muna, got it. And we have our Tapo camera already right here on the list and it's currently connected. So right now we have the Tapo camera configured onto our uh, smartphone app. So ngayon naman ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano nyo i-insert yung SD card nito. So makikita nyo dito sa ibaba niya meron ditong dalawang screw holes. So kaya na, sabi ko kanina na kailangan natin yung uh, screwdriver. So yan, bubuksan lang natin tong screws dito sa baba. And set aside natin yung screw. And after nyan, matatanggal na natin itong ano, takip nya. So, yan yung takip. Here is the access dun sa reset button. At the bottom, hopefully you could see there's a little button right there. And also the SD card slot right here. So, yan. Kunin na natin yung SD card natin. So, this camera supports up to 128GB of uh, storage or capacity. So, make sure to not exceed that one. You could go lower but uh, do not exceed the 128GB recommended or maximum capacity. Natin Kingstone. And we need the micro SD card. So, hindi natin kailangan tong adapter niya. Yun, uh, nandito na yung SD card. Kunin lang natin. Set aside muna natin yun. And we have the micro SD card right here. And it says 128 gigs. And we're gonna be plugging this one onto the micro SD card slot right here. Until you hear that click. I will ask you na i-format daw yung SD card. So, we're just gonna go back to the smart app. Then open the outer camera. And then we can go back to the settings right here. And makikita nyo dito yung micro SD card option. Hopefully you can see it. The micro SD card. And it says unformatted. So, we're just going to hit that format button right here. Okay, click natin yung format para maging... Uh, Ready na yung SD card natin sa pag-record. And uh, after nyo yung format, it will show you that format successfully notification. Ibig sabihin, ready na siya mag-record. And by default, automatically na siya mag-record. So, that's about it. Kung paano nyo set up itong Tapo C310 onto your smart app. So, hopefully, I was able to help you out and guide you step by step on how can you set this wireless camera of TP-Link T Tapo C310. And also hit that like and subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, it's your tech dude here. See you in my next tech videos.